An index fund is a mutual fund or exified basket of underlying investments. Why is it so complicated? Yeah. Since I'm a designer, I want to use my craft and design thinking to help solve this problem, to explain index fund in a simple and visual way. Therefore, in this video, I'm going to use the most user-friendly language to go over three things. First, I will go over what is an index to begin with. Then what is an index fund? How does it work? After you understand that, we can go into why do you want it? Why do you want an index fund? And lastly, the opposite side of the story, why you might not want it. Why you might not want an index fund. Throughout those chapters, I will sprinkle some real examples and demos so you see how an index fund can play out in real life. This will be another beginner-friendly and informative video, so grab your favorite drink and let's Get into it, y'all. Good morning, everyone. My name is Justine. I'm a designer working in Silicon Valley. So let's go to chapter one. What is an index fund? And let's break it down one by one. You have index, you have fund. Fund is money, we all know that. But what is an index? An index can be a confusing term. According to the 21st century source of truth, it means an indicator of something. It's measurement. It's pointing at something. It's tracking something. Check this out. This is an index finger. Let's say this index finger is pointing at the cat over there. So if the cat moves, my index finger moves with it because my index finger is pointing at it. It's tracking it. That's indexing. That is a super odd metaphor, but I guess it works. I understand. An index tracks something, it follows something. In the context of investing, an index tracks a group of stocks. It tracks a basket of stocks. Here's an example. Let's say there's an index called Justin 15 Index. It tracks Apple, Airbnb, Tesla, Google and Meta, a group of five stocks. If Apple, Airbnb, Tesla, Google and Meta stocks each goes up 10%, then the Justin 15 index will also go up 10% just because it tracks those five. In this case, one index, five stocks. It's a substitution. It's a shorthand. It's a tracker of five stocks, a basket of those five stocks. Now you have got the index part. Now let's put it together. Adding fun to it is what makes it tradable, buyable, sellable. You can't buy an index, but you can buy an index fund. When you buy an index fund, you are essentially buying a group of stocks. But which group of stocks? You don't know. You don't know because by just saying index fund, it's actually pretty vague. There are many indices. Which index are you talking about? In the US, there are three main indices in the stock market. The Dow Jones Industrial Average Index, the S&P 500 index and the Nasdaq composite index, which you probably see in finance channels like right there. You don't need to know the nuances yet because other than those three, there are many more indices. Therefore, there are many index funds. DIA is an index fund for the Dow Jones index. VOO is an index fund for the S&P 500 index. QQQ is an index fund for the Nasdaq index. However, however, these days when people say, yeah, I just invest in index fund, typically means VOO, the one that tracks the S&P 500 index, because that represents the US stock market. And it's that way simply because VOO tracks the largest 500 companies in the US versus DIA for Dow Jones index only has 30 stocks. QQQ for the Nasdaq index only has 100 stocks. So to bring this all home, here's what we have. An index fund is simply a basket of stocks. When you buy only VOO, only that one index fund, you are essentially buying 500 stocks at once. The reverse is also true because you know exactly what 500 stocks VOO is tracking. You can see it all here. The S&P 500 index has Microsoft, Nvidia, Apple, Tesla, Meta, Etc. So you can actually buy all these 500 stocks one by one manually to achieve the same result, to have the same return as BOO. But why do you want to do that, right? Why would you want to buy 500 things separately rather than buying one thing? Buying one seems more convenient to me. And speaking of being convenient, that's a great segue to chapter two. Why do you want an index fund? What's good about it? And it can all boil down to three reasons. And let's keep using VOO as an example. The index fund that tracks 
the S&P 500 index because it's a standard, that's the stock market. So the first reason, of course, is easy, it's convenient, it saves you time. You just buy one thing and you're done. Again, you can buy 500 stocks manually, but that's a lot of work. It's so much work that I think index fund is a brilliant, brilliant invention. Another scenario that it will save you time is that if you don't buy an index fund, if you don't buy VOO, that means you are buying individual stocks, meaning you have to spend the time doing all the research, the due diligence, follow all the earnings reports, keeping up with the news in order to pick some winning stocks. That's a time sink for sure. That's why the index fund VOO is great for those who want to just grow their money and not do the work. 100% passive, passively getting rich. Second reason is that it's diversified and relatively safe. So you know already VOO is an index fund that tracks the S&P 500 index. Tesla is an individual stock. Interestingly, Tesla is also inside S&P 500 index, which means the movement of Tesla stock is gonna impact the movement of VOO by some amount. Looking at the year to date of 2024, Tesla is down 28%, pretty bad. Since VOO has Tesla in it, how does VOO do? VOO is actually up about 8%. It happens because VOO has the other 499 stocks. They have way better performance. That makes the Tesla's 20% drop not affecting it at all. That is the bright side of diversification, making VOO a relatively safer bet, a more stable bet than owning one single stock. The last reason, the most important reason is it does give you pretty good return. It makes you richer. S&P 500 index represents the stock market. So when you hear, did you know the stock market's up today? It's basically saying the S&P 500 index is up, which is saying VOO, the index fund, is up. So if you bought VOO already, boom, you just got richer. And it just keeps going up. Let's do an experiment. Let's go back in time to 2016. This is VOO, this is real data, you can do it yourself at home. At this point in time in 2016, it's pretty high, VOO is pretty high. So do I buy it? I buy it, and let's move the timeline. It keeps going up, going up. Let's go to 2018, an even higher point. Should I be scared? Should I buy? Yeah, I'll buy. And then let's keep dragging the timeline. Uh-oh, it dropped. Told you. But it's fine, let's just keep dragging, let time do the work, it's going up. It recovered and it's going up and up. Look at this chart, it's beautiful. This is good, consistent return. All you have to do is buy and forget. Look back in a few years, whoa, you got so much richer. So those are pretty attractive reasons, right? So why wouldn't people want an index fund? So let's go to chapter three. Why you might not want VOO, which means you don't want the return of the stock market, which is about 10% return per year on average. So there's likely only one reason. You want more than 10% return. You want 15, you want 20%, you want 40% return a year. You want to outperform the market and you believe you can outperform the market and you have the time to do all those research, due diligence, follow up, etc. Which is to say, you have the confidence, it's gonna work. You have the time, you have the brain and you have fun doing it. Then that kind of makes sense, right? Other than those, there are basically no other reasons that you don't want to buy an index fund. Because all you need is to open a brokerage account with Robinhood, Fidelity, Charles Schwab, and many, many others. And opening one is free. You don't need to be rich to invest an index fund either. Yes, VOO is like $470 a share right now. It's expensive, but there is something called the fractional share, meaning you can buy half a share a quarter of a share, 0.1357 a share. You can buy $10 worth of VOO. In fact, let me demo for you. This is a Robinhood app. This is a brokerage I use. I can go to the search box for VOO. I actually have VOO myself. I started buying it since 2023 and it's up. Good. So to buy it, I will just tap trade, buy, and I can buy by dollar amount. Let's just say $10, right? You don't need to be rich, $10 works and then review, send, done. I just bought $10 worth of VOO, the index fund that tracks the S&P 500 index, the market, it's that easy. And I'm looking forward to being richer with this VOO index fund. All the finance book says, you should save up, you should invest. Invest in what? They typically mean invest in index funds, stay with the market. VOO is a great place to start. If I can go back in time, knowing what I know right now, I will for sure invest some of my paycheck into VOO. 
Oh, actually, I'm curious. Let's see. So I got my first paycheck for an internship in 2015. Let's just say May 22nd until now. Dude, it's up 140%. So if I invested $500 in VOO at that time, I will have $1,200 today. What the? What was I doing the whole time? It literally more than doubled. So alright guys, we have covered quite a lot today. Index fund is not that complicated, isn't it? What is your biggest realization? Let me know in the comment section down below. I respond to every comment. Looking for a brokerage account? Robinhood is still my favorite. Use my referral link down below. It's free to sign up. You will also get one free stock up to $200. Great deal. If you have learned what you wanted today, well, congratulations. Hope I earned a big like from you for this video. Investing in finance always have a lot of confusing and complicated concepts. I know, but great news. I've used my best craft and design thinking to simplify this for you. Check it out right there and in my channel. Like and subscribe to support me spending hours making this video and keep using design to square up your finances. See you on the next video. Cheers.